Hello, hello, good morning. Is everyone having a blessed Sabbath so far? Praise the Lord. So I work with a, uh, I work with a health ministry called Med Missionary, and we mostly help people recover from all sorts of chronic illnesses, but especially autoimmune disease. And so I'll probably be talking quite a bit about, um, you know, throughout the coming weeks about autoimmune disease in particular, but of course about all sorts of other things. But today that's another, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to talk about autoimmune disease. We're going to talk about three foods in particular, which will be particularly gainful to consume for people who are struggling with autoimmune disease, because I'm not sure how many people here are aware of the nature of autoimmune disease, but it's usually a combination of things that causes autoimmune disease. It's usually a trigger, and that trigger has to ignite something. And the trigger is usually stress. It's usually some sort of stressful event, lack of sleep, something such as that. That's usually the trigger, but that trigger won't ignite anything if there isn't chronic inflammation in the gut. That's usually what does it. It's a combination of a high stressor that triggers it, and if the gut was already inflamed, you already had all sorts of indigestion and all sorts of issues with your digestive system, then those two things combined will often trigger uh, autoimmune disease, which is things like rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, lupus, you know, the list goes on and on of all sorts of autoimmune diseases. It's a huge epidemic. It's on the rise. A lot of people are suffering with that. Something I've been dealing with for the past, what, six, seven years now. But three, there are three foods in particular that are very good for that because, as we mentioned, gut health is one of the key things of helping to alleviate and prevent and combat autoimmune disease. The first one that we, we've talked about before is turmeric. I believe I talked about it, if not last week, the week before, talked about how turmeric is good for all sorts of things that you wouldn't think, right? It's good for diabetes, it's good for obesity, it's good for all sorts of things. And the main thing that people know it for is it's good for inflammation. It has a molecule in it called curcumin. And curcumin is a very powerful anti-inflammatory. A lot of people know that, but a lot of people don't really know how to take curcumin or how to take turmeric. Because turmeric, if you just, if you just consume it, it's good, but you'll get about five times the benefit if you combine it with fat. Because turmeric is fat soluble. So if you combine it with um, avocado or olives or anything that's fatty, that's how you're going to get the most benefit from it. Some people say that it is true in a way that if you combine it with black pepper, maybe you've heard that before, if you combine turmeric with black pepper, it's good. I don't really recommend that because the reason why it's good is because the black pepper, it actually inflames the gut and it opens up the capillaries in the gut, which allows the turmeric to go in. That's not the best way to go about it, in my opinion. If you have any gut issues, you should not be eating spicy food in general. You should really abstain from spices while you're dealing with gut issues in general. So turmeric is one of them. Another one is berries. Berries are really, really good for autoimmune disease. And the reason why they're good is they're full of antioxidants. You've probably heard that before, and your, your mind probably glazes over when you hear about it because you've heard about it so much but no one really knows what antioxidants are. You, what happens is we deal with oxidative damage. Oxidation is a form of entropy. As your body breaks down, your cells start to oxidize. And what oxidation is, is that you have atoms. Your body's made up of atoms and molecules and cells. And the atoms they, in your body, they start to lose electrons. And as they lose electrons, they start to become very unstable. And they start to damage the nearby atoms and cells that are around them. And it causes chronic inflammation. If enough, tap, if enough of your atoms and cells are doing that, that causes disease. And what antioxidants do is they're very stable atoms that have extra electrons. So they give their electrons to these unstable uh, free radicals, what they're called. They give their extra electron to these and they stabilize them and berries are full of that. They're full of that so they prevent uh, oxida oxidative damage, they prevent entropy basically in your body and it helps you stay young, it helps you fight inflammation. They're very, very good for that. But it's important to keep in mind to only eat organic berries. And I know that can be expensive, so I usually just, I get, for me, I always get frozen ones because they're a lot cheaper and they're more convenient. They don't, you know, you can keep them in the freezer for a good while and they don't spoil. Fresh berries spoil very fast. If you've ever kept berries, you know they spoil very fast. But you always want to get them organic because they have such a soft skin 
and you can't wash off pesticides. The, because the skin is so soft, the pesticides seep inside of the berry. You know, you can't wash it out. Things that have like a hard peel or shell, you know, you can get by with it not being organic like lemons or avocados or things like that, bananas. But something that's really soft and porous like berries, you never want to get them conventional. You always want to get those organic. But those are very powerful if you're dealing with, uh, with autoimmune disease. And the final one is leafy greens. You always, you want to eat as much salad as you can. You know, I always try to eat like a big bowl salad for lunch or blend it up into a pesto because leafy greens are full of all sorts of micronutrients and phytochemicals, all the letter vitamins, A, C, E, K, all, basically all the vitamins. You're gonna find all of those in leafy greens because you wanna have very nutrient dense food because the more nutrients you have, the more energy that your body has to draw upon when it's dealing fr with stressors and damage and pollutants. You need nutrients in order to repel, repair your body and leafy greens are full of those micronutrients that you need. So berries, leafy greens, and turmeric are three of the most important foods that you wanna be eating if you're dealing with any sort of autoimmune disease. And there's a lot of others. There's ginger, there's onion, there's all sorts of other things that are really important too. But if you're just gonna remember three, remember those three. And I pray that all of you will be in perfect health, amen.